Hello, so I installed uh, RASPUP 8.2 on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, this is an ARM V6 uh, edition. It includes a, a swap space of uh, 512 megabytes. Um, since the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, and the One have only uh, 256 megabytes to 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, one of the things I noticed about this is the, the, the menu screen does seem to be pretty quick, um, but the, the applications use a lot of uh, computer processing. So, for example, if I open up the uh, task manager, to kind of see what's uh, being used. Um, it's not really using a lot right now, including the task manager. So we have about, uh, well just to open it up, it was briefly about 46%. Um, so when it's idle, it's only using about 15%. Um, when I open up the browser, which is Midori, it uses most of the processing power just to to keep it running even if it's this is not even connected to the internet so I mean it loads all right it's it's a little bit more of a lightweight browser than something like Firefox or Chrome but it it seems like it would be running at a hundred percent all the time um, now because it's in RAM it's supposed to run a little faster than from the SD card in, in theory, but um, I'm thinking it's still going to run slow because n not the RAM, but the, the computer, uh, the CPU is going to be, you know, at 50% 50, 50 anytime you actually press on anything. Um, another thing I noticed is the, the system, you know, performance is not it's not terrible but if if you were using this to like try to do what you know productivity it, it wouldn't really be useful unless you're just writing a novel or something i i prefer to use something like a leaf pad or notepad as you can see my username is a notepad um this this is really not an issue. Of course, you wouldn't want to be saving it to the RAM, but you could save it into an external um, uh, USB or, or um, micro SD. So what I have here is a little bit of an adapter, and um, that's how I have all my um, my USB devices because the Raspberry Pi Zero only has a, a single. Um, USB and I use an OTG adapter. Uh, I'm not using the Belkin one, I'm just using another uh, one that seems to um, seems to use a little less power because with the uh, USB uh, the, the charger may not have enough amperage to run all the peripherals so I use one that doesn't have a light on it but it's a four port uh, USB so this is um this is uh puppy linux for the raspberry pi so it's called raspup um it's been around for a while i've actually never gotten it to work on the raspberry pi zero before i only got it to work on the raspberry pi three uh, I, I may have been using the wrong image uh, most likely but today I, you know i found out they had the one for ARM v6 and to use the the swap uh, version but um, I, I do like this operating system there's also one called RISC OS R -I -S -C -O -S. it's and included in the Raspberry Pi uh, imaging software that can be downloaded that requires about two gigabytes uh, similar to this so you do need like a four gigabyte micro SD, which shouldn't be a problem. But ideally, if you're really want to running the entire operating system, 
you would want to have at least the bootable OS under one gigabyte because that way you could run uh, that all in RAM without needing to have all the packages you may not be using um, in the SD card. Of course, if you have the SD card, it's fine, but it's nice just to have like the operating system to run really fast and just to have the networking uh, software to be accessible with the networking drivers installed like wireless or the Ethernet. Of course, the Raspberry Pi Zero, at least this one doesn't have wireless, but the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 does, along with the, um, the W version of the first generation Raspberry Pi Zero. So this is also a larger monitor. I did test it on um, I did test the Raspberry Pi Zero with um, I'm sorry, I did test the PinyCore Linux on a 1024 by well, 600 so I did test it on a smaller monitor and it was using a, a two-threaded Atom processor and it did run a lot faster on that um, although this this chip was released about you know five or six years after that um, it is an older technology though um, of course if you were buying um, a Raspberry Pi today you'd probably want to get at least the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 because you would be getting a faster ARM processor um, and A53 so this this one is a little bit outdated I just bought it a, uh, about a year ago so I you know I got it for five dollars but you could technically use it for quite a bit if you uh, really knew how to optimize everything um, so that's really just this uh, overview of Puppy Linux. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other videos on this, but I just wanted to see how the Raspberry Pi Zero would go. Thanks for watching.